fixing, fixing to. to. So I'm about to. Yeah. Fixing. So where are y'all going? Oh, I don't well, know. I'm we're, fixing we're... to have my lunch. <laughs> a winder is a, a window. See, it's not southern. It's go stand by the winder. Um, pretty is pretty. You look pretty. You, I have to say, you look downright pretty. A pie supper, it's an organized kind of supper where you would be auctioning or selling off pies. You're gonna have me a pie supper for the PTA. I've been to pie suppers at my church. Biscuits are really big in West Virginia, and a cat's head is a big biscuit. What West Virginia is known for is Tudor's Biscuit World, and there you can get yourself a cat's head biscuit and a sausage gravy. Hip. Hip is a term that typically means um, I understand something. If, if someone's trying to pull one over on me, they can't because I've already got the information. So somebody would say, would say, my man thought he was cheating on me and I didn't know shit, but I was hip. I was hip to it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Because he went, he said, he gonna go to college. He gonna go on the other side with that degree and he gonna be in good shape. So no, I'm hip, I'm hip. Meaning I understand what you're saying. I, I comprehend what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hip. Chicken, amongst other uh, food related words means money. So back in the old days it was like dough, but now it's like, yo man, he got a lot of chicken or he got a lot of cheddar. You can say chicken, you can say cheddar, you can say bands, like the like the little oh, yeah, money, like the, the money bands, bands that they yeah. put around the money, they count that as money. Got that paper, she got that paper, she got that paper. You know what I mean? Or let, let, let's, or let me go get that paper. <laughs> Dad gum. It's a nice way to say, instead of saying, you teach your kids, instead of saying, damn it. Oh, that gum. Oh, that gum. That darn it. Yeah, it's very funny when you see it yeah. written. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Gum. Dad gum. Bless your heart. Bro. That's everything. That's universal. Yeah. That? That's bless your English bless, language. Bless your heart. Women in Texas and in the South. Oh, ble bless oh, your Oh, bless your heart. Bless You're your going heart. through a bit of a tough, tough, tough moment. Exarban. Exarban is Nebraska backwards. Our main, like, Civic Center, I guess, where boys to men would play, which I saw them in fifth grade when Brandy opened up for them, no big deal. Um, that it was called the Exarban Center, so we're pretty clever in Nebraska. Red beer, baby! Red beer is uh, just like a beer, and then you put tomato juice in it. Like Mexicans have micheladas, and those are delicious. We sort of do that without any of the delicious spices. <laughs> we have like the whitest version of a michelada, and it's just called red beer. Also pretty delicious though. Oracle of Omaha, my boy, the king himself, Warren Buffett, we call him the Oracle of Omaha because he's from Omaha and he's like this, I think he's like the second richest man in the world or something like that. And he's just really good at uh, doing the stock markets. And Omaha weirdly has like, like the most millionaires per capita, at least was a fact that I heard when I was a child uh, because of Warren Buffett, because everybody was just like, this guy seems smart and invested with him. And then he made everyone super rich, except for my parents. Gigging me, dancing, grooving. Ah, uh, yeah, I got my own gigs. You want to see me gig? <laughs> no, no, no. I got dumb gigs. Catting off. <laughs> That's a Bay Area word for show for show. That's just lingering through the streets for many moons, you know. Catting off me, just, you know what I mean, just doing some more silly shit, you know, just catting off, fucking around. You know what I mean? Catting off. Hella. Hella. You know, that's Bay Area. Whenever you hear somebody say, man, it was hell of them out there. You know what I'm saying? How many dudes was outside waiting for y'all? Hell of them. <laughs> I want, man, I want hell of them, man. You know, hell of, just, that means just a whole bunch. That's it, they're right there. Put that in the dictionary, a whole bunch. The boot heel. Uh, Missouri is, is, a, is an odd little shape, and in the southeast corner is a little chunk that kind of bites into Arkansas called the boot heel. My family is from kind of down south toward that way, but uh, not quite as far as the, as the heel. Hmm. Oh, tea wraps. A shortened version of toasted raviolis. Uh, have you ever had toasted ravioli? No. Is that oh. something you eat? What you basically do is take a ravioli yeah. and you bread it and deep fry it and then you dip it in tomato sauce and it is and cover it with Parmesan cheese. Oh, it's so good. Tea wraps. 
Farty far. Farty far. St. Louisans have what can only be described as a particular accent, especially when trying to pronounce uh, the, the O vowel sometimes. Mm -hmm. So 44. Oh. Highway 44. Highway farty far. <laughs> they should be. Large, Jarge. That's a gorgeous orange farmer <laughs> that you got wearing there. Oh, Mike could. I could probably do it. <laughs> there is a possibility in which I could attempt it. Yeah, I might could. I might could. Like, it depends. Like, I might could, maybe not, maybe could. I might attempt it, but probably not. Oh, plump as a dumpling. Um, oh, God. Uh, you know, you know, just a little cushion. Yeah, I don't know. Plump as a dumpling is just, yeah. It's a lot of gravy. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> that one made me red. <laughs> um, a hussy. My grandma used the term floozy. Your grandma is no floozy. Your me mom is no floozy. So much so that my brother actually got that tattooed on the back of his arm. Because that was like her main thing. And she never wanted to be called a floozy. <laughs> I think it's so cute. But again, it goes back to the theme like in the South. There's a lot of respect. A lot of respect. So hussy or a floozy, you don't want to be one of those girls. Womp we'll the bam. Womp we'll the bam is like, then we was at the store and then womp, and then I was like, bam, bam. That's like a fight, like like uh, Batman. That's close. It, it really is almost like a yada yada. You're just trying to get to the store. You oh. can be like, so then I told Pat, you know, get out of my house, you son of a bitch. And he said, no, fuck you, you're the bitch. And you know, womp we'll the bam, the cops came, they took him away. T. Past tense of T. That's pretty good. In, in Chicago, it means uh, the party just went to a new level. Oh, this shit just got teed up, man. I'm about to go on you. To me, that sounds like something you would say to Trump because he likes golden showers. Ooh. In Chicago, it really means I'm going to roast you. Oh. Like, oh, Pat, look look who got f***ing French's mustard on his Canerico jersey. Oh, baby, I'm about to go on you, Pat. You about to piss on me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, it's the same. Nary is the word, not any, ever. Ever. Is the ever. definition. There was nary a time when I didn't want to be working with you. This is well done. I'm not going to go after that. I'm you sorry. You can't go after that. Smidgen. That's a very small amount. Um, There's just a smidgen of sugar in those muffins. Or a smidgen of interest in this bit we're doing. <laughs> Haired, Haired up, up like, like a, a summer pig turd. Means. <laughs> Needs to shave. Means you need to shave. Usually slang will shorten uh, what you're trying to say. In this case, uh, it doesn't. this is what you say when you need to shave. Kentucky waterfall. Is that like a long whiskey pour? No, it means mullet. Oh, that's so brilliant. <laughs> that's so brilliant. Hot brown. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, it's not what you're it's, thinking. Uh, is that like some... You eat like it. <laughs> just baked bread or something? It, close, yeah, it's like an open-faced, unhealthy sandwich. You Tobogga. know what that is. Yeah, yeah, that's what lets it look like a vehicle for, for a, a non-motorized snow vehicle. No, I mean, first of all, that's no way to talk about penguins. This is a um, snow hat. A toboggan? Yeah, you put it on your head. Well, there's a lot of miseducation in Australia because a toboggan is like something you get on and you you go on the snow with, which is like a sled. I think that we're both right. What do you have a snow hat for in Kentucky for anyway? I thought you guys were in Kentucky. just drinking whiskey and frying chicken and, and there's no snow. A mass hole. I never liked that term, mass hole. There's a lot of really nice people in Massachusetts and some very affluent people, blue blood, well-educated people that are actually they deserve that term more because they frown upon people from the wrong side of the tracks. They don't let me in their golf clubs because they think I broke their window and stole their golf clubs when I was younger. Probably right. Clicker. Yeah, that's a remote control for your TV. What the fuck happened to the clicker, you fucking sucker? Donkeys. That would be Dunkin' Donuts. Bo. Shake a cake. Can't go anywhere. If we're shooting a movie and they don't have Dunkin' Donuts there, he's not coming. Abadaga. Abadaga. <laughs> like, Adam, Adam, you got a heck of a badaga, but I'll tell you what. Badaga. Badaga. That's good. That's good. But this is a store like that, uh, yeah. like a little 
grocery store, right? Yeah. You call it a bodega. Yeah. And you love it. I gotta tell you that that wasn't around when I was a kid. No, and this just not in Long Island, just in the years, city. Right? Yeah, bodega. in the city. And it's but a bodega. I didn't say that, I didn't say that uh, a lot because it okay, really good. doesn't feel like a total uh, old school New York thing. This is like a new Thing. My grandmother never said bodega. She life. didn't? Yeah, you're right. Bridge and tunnel, which is what you are. That I think that's a little bit derogatory. I think it's fine. You do? Do you, do you take a bridge to get to the city? I There's used, nothing wrong with nothing to be embarrassed I used to take the tunnel, the midtown tunnel. You took the midtown tunnel? But I feel like they sometimes refer to bridge and tunnel people a little bit. They, you know? It can be a little cocky attitude towards the bridge and tunnel people. The people that aren't night, from New York City. Like, yeah. yeah, no, but you got to respect the bridge and tunnel people Definitely. from everybody. Schmitz is Schmitz sweating, is uh, or you can sit and take a Schmitz. No. Yeah, it's like a steam. steam, a steam it is? Yeah. That's your own No, it isn't. It's old Jew, Sandy Talib. Yeah. You really? That's the oldest you know, Jew in the, in the building right now. You take a Schmitz? A steam or a wet, wet steam? Wet steam. Is a Schmitz? Yeah, yeah. And what but is it, it when you sit on the toilet wet. and you take a what? That's not a Schmitz. That. Okay, that's a Schmitz. <laughs> <laughs>